All right, everyone, just want to show you um, how I'm putting on the real clipper valve. So this is a real um, authentic clipper valve that I got from gbfans.com. It's the R331. Um, I already put one of these on my um, neutrino wand. And when I did that one, I literally cut this piece off, this, this nipple here off, and just flushly put it on there because there wasn't enough room in the back. There was a, like a motherboard and wires back here and that was, it was gonna hit that. But for this one, so what I did here is I cut the little nubbins off for the screws and that where that sits on the, uh, the original stock one, cut that off, cut those off. I am going to um, sand, sandpaper this smooth and then when, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to keep this nubbin on. I'm just going to drill a hole the size of that nubbin. And I'm going to stick it in the hole. And then also drill holes for these screws here. And I'm going to fasten it with nuts on the back. But I'm also going to um, put um, super glue on it. To, just to help hold and make it stronger. So that is how I am installing a new, or I mean a real clipper valve. Um, the Haslab Proton Pack. So, I will guys show you when I'm done. Hopefully it works out. Thanks. Alright guys, so I just installed my real clippered valve on my pack. Um, here's the stock one it comes with, the plastic one. You can see the size difference. A lot thicker, a little taller. And of course, it's all metal, steel. It's heavier, and I love it. Um, so, the real valve has like a, a big piece, plastic piece that sticks out the bottom here. And I ended up having to cut that off just like I did um, when I put the re real valve on my wand. Because on the very, on the other side of this is the uh, vibration motor. Um, so I really couldn't, there was no, if I drilled a hole through there to put that little nipple from, from this in there, it would have, um, broke the, or messed with the motor down there. So couldn't do that. So I had to do the same thing, cut that off, drill the holes a little bit bigger for the screws and screwed it in and super glued it just to, just for, I mean, it would have stayed in with the screws itself, but I just super glued it, um. You know, just for extra support, but I like it. I love it. Um, it's cool to have real clipper valves because that's my goal is to have as much real as everything. So that's why I'm putting uh, real brass fittings all around, real clipper valve, um, real wires, um, new hoses, so the fake ones, and um, and all that jazz. So. So anyways, guys, if you want to put a real clippered valve on yours, that's what you got to do. You got to cut off the plastic pieces that are, when you when you unscrew the stock one, there's like these plastic pieces that are holding it in. You got to cut those off, drill the holes a little bit bigger for this for the real screws or for the screws that come with the real valve. And then, well, all I did was screwed it down, put super, super glue underneath before I did that. And it's there, and it's there for good. So these real ones are also cool because you can screw this cap off. Actually, it doesn't come all the way off, but if you have the, if you like the look of it higher, you can do that as well. It's pretty cool. It gives you another option. So, all right, guys. If you have any uh, questions, as always, just let me know. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I'm still waiting on the rest of my brass fittings and my elbow fittings. Once I get those in, um, I'll be able to hook up all the hoses. I still have to cut these off here and here where these screws are at. Um, I'm going to replace these with the real screws that come on the pack, the bolts that come on the pack that holds the ladder down and the um, ribbon clip here. So, still got a lot ahead of me, but 
really just been waiting on parts this whole time. Still, I'm, I gotta go get a new loom for this so I can run real wires through it and have them sticking out like that. Still need a new uh, um, wand hook because mine, it holds it, but I don't trust it. It's pretty, if you don't put it on there absolutely perfect, um, it falls off. So I wanna get one of those too. Um, yeah, so I think the only thing I am going to keep are these because they look fine. They look just like the movie. Um, I'm, I might change them, but for now, for now, I'm keeping these ones. If I change them out, I'll change them out later. I'm not too worried about these two wires right now. Um, I'm going to get the, the correct screws for these and replace those. Um, yeah, so looking good. I got my uh, JBL speaker. Nah, I can't open it right now, but I got my JBL speaker in here, and I got it all hooked up, so it is much louder, um, and it even like rumbles. The speaker itself kind of like vibrates, so that's pretty cool too. So, all right, you guys have any questions about putting real valves on your wand or your pack? Just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.